how's it going everybody uh, if you're here for the first time on my channel my name is Victor been making videos about Mexico travel um, just odd stuff uh, thoughts of Mexico and especially here my home build here in Mexico and uh, a few months ago I put out a video of, of my yard and uh, I just recently have finished it and a lot of things have not grown so today I just want to show you guys an update of some of the things and then some plans in the back uh, that didn't look like much but eventually they will become something so let me turn their camera around to show you guys what so far how well it's been three months with a little bit of rain a little bit of water has done to improve <laughs> this yard so if you watch the first video you'll pretty much understand where I was coming from so all right so this is the yard right here just uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and just give you guys a overall view I finally actually um, the name of this flower is native to Mexico it's called the uh, La Princesa or Princess flower so if you guys want to look it up you can probably take a snapshot right there and Google it I think they do have it in the United States it's beautiful it grows like a bush but you can keep it like a, like a little tree like that and keep trimming it like this one I had to trim it down but eventually get all the flowers all these little things will turn into flowers and so um, before all the ants had eaten all my roses and so now this is the, the update you got my lavender remember they're just really tiny so now everything's pretty much it's starting to grow it takes about a year for those roses to really get some good stems here um, they're still really weak so once you get really thick it will really fill out this area here um, I have a small leak here I don't want to fix it I and mean, I'm gonna explain to you guys why um, it might be like oh no we don't want these here but see these those are good to have in your yard I know a lot of people kind of freak out from bees but look at no problem and um, they need water so uh, it's good to have them here and uh, they love the lavender they'll pollinate all your flowers they'll keep everything growing really nice so it's good for the bees to be here so if they stick around better for me maybe if they don't make a nest they'll be fine but hopefully they don't make a nest but I have uh, so I got the chili plant finally the creepers are starting to creep and then um, this one there I just kind of stuck it in there it's starting to grow really nice um, I found the problem with the fountain what happened is when they when we put it together um, the water is seeping to the back of it it's hard, really hard to see but we're gonna have to take this whole crown off and then fix it and then we'll get the fountain to work um, but if it doesn't work I'm gonna make that a planner and I think that works for me too the creepers are starting to come on this one's probably the best one I'm surprised but they're starting to come along and they'll creep up the wall now these are the palm trees I had a dead um, flower one here that the ants had eaten and I replaced it. The bougainvilleas are coming. This is a plumeria also. The phoenix palms. Um, bougainvillea. The idea with the bougainvillea is I'm going to crown it here and I'm going to bring it this way and just crown it that way. So I'm going to try to run it. I don't know if I'm going to run it to the top of this. So definitely I'm going to just move it here. If anything I'll stop it here. Uh, if it looks okay then I'm going to move it over but I'm not sure. So a lot of growth uh, in the three months. Um, still got to pull the grass out. That's the other Mugambilia. But look at this lavender. Nice. It's looking good. This rose kind of sad and then, then this is the view that palm tree over there is probably the one that's growing the best which I'm super happy because if that one grows taller it'll make symmetry because I would like that middle one to be taller than the other ones perfect and then uh, this one's slow to grow I'm gonna put another palm tree behind it and I've explained to other people so the driveway is gonna be this is the driveway and so all this would be like stone but here to the right, right here to the right, there's going to be a whole area right here. 
all the way down where it's going to be full of plants and then here there's going to be a brick wall just the same as that one right there and so you'll have a brick wall somewhere maybe a lower where the car ends and then the rest will be bougainvilleas let me show you over there what we're doing so the idea with this is kind of weird i know but if you get some palm trees here eventually and you put the driveway these will grow up and give it symmetry to the other palm trees that are over there these here are jacarandas just got them from my brother and uh these were 100 pesos each and then we just bought more dirt uh temporary I'm saving this nopal. You can see it. We're going to save it and then we'll transplant it. If you see these bungambilias, um, I know they're nothing. Um, but I have really problem with ants and they're starting to take care of. I'm going to put these type of bungambilias all around here. The idea is to put it on each post. Each post. Uh, the wall, the brick wall, I'll probably reach them to here. To this one. And then rest will be wire. And then the bougainvillea will be coming up. And we're going to run it here and then we'll put posts on the top and let it run. So it'll be full of greenery and bougainvilleas. We got this creeper going. This one will go around the windows, try to keep it tamed. This will be driveway. Uh, and I explained to other people before in another video. Then this will go that but it won't be a driveway it will be like a patio driveway and then the porch i had these uh crepe myrtles planted today um i'm gonna let them grow with stems basically they'll start fanning out if you guys are familiar with the crepe myrtles they'll start stemming and then you'll create a canopy over it about the section so i have one two three uh again it's just hard to see but here i'll plant like plumerias in the other corner where it's kind of separate another plumeria so the plumerias actually grow big canopies over time my daughter Haley, we were in manzanillo and she loved the look of how the plants not only those are a restaurant right there in the Hihik. we went to a place called the peacock restaurant right there in the and I, he got poked in my foot. Um, and we saw him like where the plants were going up the tree. And so we're gonna actually make this whole area here uh, where these plants are just growing up here. We have like a, um, an orchid right there. Hope you can appreciate it. And so we have just different plants that we're gonna put, uh, Monstera. And we're just gonna train it to go up and create this really jungly area here. We got some more um, creep myrtles. It's a mess, but eventually all this will be flattened out. Um, then a retaining wall will be here that goes along, and then fruit trees over there. So, all right, everybody. So this is it. That was it. Um, that's all I had to show for today. Thank you for being part of the channel. If you guys like this video. It would be helpful to me and the channel if you give me a like before you leave. Really appreciate it. Um, till next time, guys. Catch you later.